In today's video, I'm going to be cleaning and decorating my hallway bathroom upstairs for Christmas. This is the bathroom that guests use when they come to our home and also the bathroom that my children use on a daily basis. This video is part of the Holiday Hop Around the House collaboration that I am hosting. So when you're done watching my video, click the link in my description box to the next video, and then that video will link to another video, and we will hop around the house for lots of cleaning and decorating Christmas inspiration. Prior to filming, I had swept my floor, and here I am just vacuuming up the little pile with my dust buster that I use all the time. I also cleaned the toilet off camera because that's not something I think you need to see. And then I went ahead and started clearing the counter so that I could clean it. My children tend to leave a lot of things on the counter, so I was cleaning up that. It actually wasn't too bad today. It's usually a lot worse, so this was not too bad. <laughs> and then I did notice all of the lighters wind up in the bathroom. They like to light candles in here, and all of my lighters wind up here. I was just, I had cleaned the back of the toilet already, but I hadn't dusted the little decor on the back, so I was clearing some of that off. Some of it will be taken out for Christmas time. This is a candle that we love, Peppermint Snow. I actually bought another Peppermint Snow to replace that one because we like it so much. And then I was just getting the rest of the stuff off the counter. I gave the counter a good spray with some bleach spray. This is my stuff from the Dollar Tree. And then I was just using Windex on a lot of the decorative items. And then I just wiped down the counter after the bleach spray had sat long enough. And then I also came back with a sponge to kind of give a better scrubbing to the sink and to the faucet. And then I used Windex on my mirror. I'm just an old fashioned cleaning product kind of person. I like my Windex. There's also a foam Windex. It's not Windex, I forget the brand that we really like. I have gotten that as well, but it's kind of expensive. So I just always wind up going back to Windex. And I like to get the top of the light fixture as well because that collects a bit of dust. Then I moved on to dusting the little cabinet to the left of the sink. And this holds a lot of little decor, knickknacks and things. So I like to pull those out when I clean just to give them a little dusting. And then also my collectibles on top of the cabinet. This is all my old medicine bottles and like old miniature first aid kits. And someone had sent me an antique soap holder. That's one of my favorite bottles. So I just pulled all of those down to give them a dusting as well. And once those were all down, I wiped down the top of that cabinet. And then I wiped down the mirror as well. And I cleared and dusted the shelf behind the toilet as well as the towel bar because dust really collects on, the, on my towel bar um, and the brackets that hold it. And off camera, I then scrubbed my floor, but I don't like to film myself doing that because I'm on my hands and knees and it's not very attractive. And then once my whole room was clean, I could get to the fun part, which is always the decorating. So I'm trying to reuse a lot of the things that are in here, or just add to them because I didn't want to have to like take everything out and redecorate. So I've just added some greenery into some of my vintage bottles and into that little bucket that had boxwood in it previously 
uh, I decided here that I wanted to add some greenery. So I went to my stash and pulled out some greenery. And these all are just things that I have. And then I decided I would use a little bit of this ribbon that I got at Dollar General. And it's a very thin burlap ribbon. It's really pretty. And so I use that throughout the room here. You can see I'm just tying a piece of it around the top of the bottle. And I did that on several bottles around the room. And then I just went ahead and replaced all of the other little collectibles that had been up there before. And then once I was done with that, I started on the little cubbies. I wanted to just add a little bit of Christmas. So I have this little arrangement. I just stuck two vintage flowers into a flower frog and added a little vintage candy cane because that's the vibe I'm going for in here is that like, you know, vintage Christmas kind of look with the turquoise and the blue. So I just, and then I replaced the things that had already been there. And here's a close up of the cabinet once it was all decorated. So not a ton of Christmas, but just enough little touches and it'll be easy to clean up once Christmas is over. Next, I moved on to the shelf behind the toilet. I have this card that I got at the Dollar Tree and I just clipped it to this little clipboard that I already had in my stash. And I just leaned that up against the picture that's already there. I didn't want to change out the picture because, you know, Christmas is only for a month and I don't really want to take all that kind of stuff down. Plus, the kids really like this picture because they like what it says. So I decided to just kind of decorate in front of it. And then I have these two bottles that I put um, greenery in and put some more of that ribbon around. And so those were bottles that were already there. So I'm just kind of making them look a little Christmassy. And I didn't tie bows on these. I just tied little knots, just easier. It uses less ribbon. And I think it looks really pretty. And then I have my little reindeer barn. I got this thrifting last year. So I stuck that on the shelf because it has those colors I was going for. And then this little reindeer that I recently found at the Goodwill Outlet Bins. Someone, one of my subscribers gave me the idea to use him with my reindeer bar barn. And I thought that was a great idea. Then I have my basket. I'm going to fill it with vintage Christmas balls. So these are some vintage Christmas balls that I had in my stash. And I just filled it with red and turquoise ones again to play off that color scheme that I was going for. For the back of the toilet, I wanted to use this little Christmas tree and I decided to get some of my red and black buffalo check and tie a bow around it. So that was easy and I just stuck that in that little tub that I have sitting there all the time. And then I decided to add this, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas candle holder to that shelf as a finishing touch. And then I added my towels one everyday towel and then a set that I got at Target. They came as a set of two. Cute. Thanks. I like the balls in the basket. They're pretty. Right? I'm like, you know what? They can grab washcloth. I, I like know. the red and the blue. Right? These towels were really inexpensive and they're really nice. They're soft and kind of velvety feeling. So highly recommend. My strategy here was to put the everyday one closest to the sink because I think that's the one that the kids will grab. And then they will probably leave the decorative ones alone. Cute! I was using my bath towel while it was hanging in the hole. Oh, hook. that's funny. I like this. I like it. Ah! All right, Mama, what we got? And then I found last year at the Goodwill Outlet Bins this picture. It has a gold frame, which goes with the gold accents in the room. And it has the same colors, that turquoise color that I'm using. So I decided to take down one of my pictures on my gallery wall here and replace it with this. Then I moved on to decorating the sink. I put my milk glass cake stand back and here's my new peppermint snow candle. And then I decided to bring in this lantern. I've had this for years, I really love it, but it fits the color scheme. And then I decided to use some ribbon to add a pop of red and I went with a thicker buffalo check ribbon this time. And I just created a bow making multiple loops and tying it off in the center. 
and then I tied it to the lantern. And then I just replaced some of the other decor that had previously been on this milk glass cake stand. And then I put this little platter from the Dollar Tree, which has a great amount of the red and turquoise on it. And I put that behind the entire display. Then I got my decor that I had pulled out of here. I dusted off my lantern and I made another bow for that lantern in the same way. And I just tied that to the lantern and then put all of the other items back. And I was also just wiping down the counter because, you know, as you decorate, you get dust on the counter. So I was just trying to keep it neat. And as a final touch, I also had picked up this from Target. It was $8. I love this rug. I love it so much that I got one for my downstairs bathroom also. And I just put that on the floor. I always check to make sure the door swings over it, which it does. So that should not be a problem. And that was that. And here is the finished product. Molly got me this soap right in time for this video. I was super excited. She had ordered it from Bath & Body. So... I have a red soap on my sink now too, but I'm pleased with how all the decor turned out. And I hope this gives you some ideas. You know, you don't have to completely redo a bathroom to get it a little Christmassy. You can just use the things you have and add little pops of red or whatever your color or little pops of evergreen just to change it up and make it feel special for the holiday. I hope you enjoyed this clean and decorate with me video and I hope that you will click on the link to the next video, the next creator that is down in my description box for the next room of the house. And I hope that you'll continue to hop around the house and have a lovely holiday season. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.